Hey, everybody. So this week, we're going to be talking all about the metaphysical properties of grape agate. So grape agate, as you have might have guessed, the reason it kind of is called grape agate is because it looks like a bunch of grapes. It doesn't really go deeper than that. <laughs> That's how it got its name. I mean, rightfully so, it looks like tons of purple grapes. Um, it could also range in different colors where greens, between greens and purples. Now, the green is more rare. Normally, it does come in purple, but it's beautiful no matter what. I mean, I this the more rare type, the green is very beautiful as well, but they're both gorgeous no matter what kind of color patterns now one thing you might notice right off the bat is generally i have a lot more crystals when i'm talking about them just usually loaded up on the table here and for some reason i don't have a ton of uh grape agate when i went looking for it but and i'm not sure why I, it's very beautiful stuff um it is expensive very expensive um depending on the size of the piece you get, you you can get some decent quality for decent price, but it's generally on the more expensive side. But here's the other thing. Grape agate is not an agate. It's a chalcedony. Um, it's just it, similar to some crystals and minerals. They just kind of name them accordingly. And for some reason, it got tagged as an agnet as an agate but it's not uh the, with an agate you have to have some form of banding to make it an agate and there obviously isn't any banding on uh chalcedony it, it other people do call it grape chalcedony but its general name is grape agate if you go to a, a crystal store that's what it's going to be called so and the most common is the purple just like purple grapes so, beautiful stuff, though. So, what are the metaphysical properties of grape agate? So, grape agate, the main thing I sense and use this for, and I haven't used it in a while, but is dispelling anger. And if you are generally an angry person, and there's a lot of them out there. And anger and fear kind of go together side by side, but irritability, anger, you're just quick tempered. Work with this because it will very well help you to dispel that those feelings. And it really alle alleviates irritability quite a bit. So that is the number one thing when I reach for a piece of grape agate, if you're really looking to get rid of that anger and rage and all that feeling, all those feelings, that's the way to go. It just diffuses it and it gets in there and releases the anger. So that could come in handy if you are generally an angry person or quickly irritable or had a bad day and therefore, uh, are feeling irritable at the end of the day, which is pretty common, reach for some grape agate to help dispel it. And it's pretty powerful in terms of doing that. That's that's my number one with grape agate is dispelling and diffusing irritability and anger. So what else does it do? Um, one thing I don't think a lot of people talk about is if you leave this near your bed, you're going to have very vivid dreams, at least I have, and very vivid and very peaceful. Just nice, tranquil, good dreams. Now, there's a lot of other crystals and minerals out there that are great for dream recall and all different types of things that go along with dreams, lucid dreams. Uh, remembering your dreams. This is more for peaceful dreams. 
and it will help. I don't want to, to say recall, but mainly having a peaceful and tranquil dream, but a vivid dream. And if you remember it, it will be extremely vivid and something you're going to probably talk about and tell everybody in the morning. So another thing that I would keep if you have a family, put this in your house. It's very good for families. Now, if, if you're, it's like unity. Think of it as unity. Think about it as each one of these little grapes as a person. And it's great for community, family, and it brings everybody together. Again, helps everybody to dispel that anger, irritability, and it keeps a good vibe going through your house and through all your family members. And it's associated with family, like grouping, just the group of grapes. That's how I kind of remember it and think of it. Because, it, like, each individual family member is a grape, I guess. But it's, it's really good to have in a family-type environment. And another one that is fantastic is if you're kind of stuck in a rut in a way and your life has kind of lost that, it's dull and lacks joy, grape agate works to bring back that sweetness in your life and that's another good way to think about it too because grapes are sweet you kind of want to get that sweetness out of life and really knock the luster you know get all that gunk off and bring back the sweetness and 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 enjoy everything again and and things that have gotten dull this will kind of refresh all that and bring it back And that's another good one. And again, it's easy to remember some of this stuff because sweetness, I think, goes along with uh, grapes. So if you're thinking about it, it's easy like, okay, let's get some sweetness back in our lives, knock out the dull and lackluster, whatever's going on. Easy way to remember it. It's great for family. Easy way to remember it because of all the little grapes in one cluster, unity, and it's beautiful (laughs) as can be. I mean, there are some big clusters of this out there, very expensive, that are, I mean, some of the grapes are are monster size, like the size of um, marbles. I mean, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, definitely a showpiece item. It's kind of tough to wear this as jewelry. Like this one, this could easily fit inside of a little cage, uh, but it's kind of tricky to get this as like a jewelry piece. But in this day and age, anything is possible. But generally, you don't see this much or at all in jewelry. You'll kind of have to break a piece off and stuff it in a cage, but great to wear around your neck, especially if you're sleeping. You don't have to have it as jewelry, like against your skin or whatever, but it would benefit dream recall and not not so much dream recall. I'm, I'm sorry, like vividness of dreams, that kind of stuff. So that's about it. Oh, it also, it's not it. It also shields and protects against negative energy. Um, not as great as other crystals, but it's like a warm protective energy that kind of guards your mind, your emotions. Uh, very good for that too. This is a third eye and crown chakra crystal. It's associated with those two and it's, it's very spiritual and very, I I don't want to say it's super high vibrational, but if you work with it, especially if you're grabbing it for to dispel anger. If you meditate with this and, and sit with it a while, I'd say within 15, 20 minutes, you're going to be feeling a heck of a lot better. And it's really good at busting up that all that irritability and anger. That's my number one with this. 
Um, it also does absorb negative energy, even though it dispels it, it absorbs it. So definitely you're going to want to cleanse this before each use. Um, I run it under water. I have no problem with this in water uh, at all. Uh, you could use sage, whatever else, but water works perfectly fine for me. And you definitely want to do that because it will absorb negative energy. You don't want to be working with that before you're using it. So just a quick recap. My number one for this is anger and ir irritability. It will definitely bust that up for you. Uh, you're going to uh, unity just to have is a piece in the house uh, to bring family together. And if you want very vivid dreams, work with this. Uh, keep peace near your bed. You'll have very vivid dreams. And it also shields you from negative energy. So very beneficial and good stuff here. So you could get a piece of this. I'd say you're if you get like a half of the size of this, you're in the $20, $25 range, depending. The greens or greenish blue ones are going to be a little more pricey, but uh, your best bet is to find some purple in a local crystal shop. Or I don't think I sell this. I don't think I've ever had any of this. I might have sold some out of my personal collection, but don't commonly uh, get this to resell. So, But that's about it for Grape Agate, technically Chalcedony. So that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Hope you liked the video.